The software powerhouse or the powerhouse software? If someone references SAP, they're most likely referring to SAP ERP. But just in case, let's start at the top. SAP, or System Analysis Program Development, is a German software company that, as of this video, has over 100 products and more than 480,000 global customers. It is, however, most well known for its line of enterprise resource management products, SAP ERP. Here, we'll go over a brief history of SAP and the basics of SAP ERP. To go down the SAP rabbit hole, visit our dedicated site on all things SAP by clicking the link above or in the description below. SAP was started in 1972 with the goal of providing customers with the ability to interact with a corporate database in real time. First came a financial accounting system in 1973, then a mainframe system for real-time data processing across accounting, manufacturing, supply chain, and human resources. In 1992, they moved from mainframe computing to a client-server model, which launched the company onto the world stage. In 2004, they launched SAP ECC, or ERP Central Component. ECC was once SAP's flagship ERP system, usually implemented in medium-sized or large companies, and SAP ERP and ECC were once used interchangeably. More accurate, however, is to say that SAP ERP is now an umbrella term for all of SAP's ERP-related products, including ECC and its associated ERP suite, Business Suite, as well as S4 HANA, Business One, and Business by Design. SAP ERP helps organizations manage nearly every aspect of a business, including analytics and reporting, financial accounting, human resource management, materials management, product planning, sales and distribution, and supply chain management. It does this via a three-tier architecture. The first tier is the presentation tier, home to the SAP Graphical User Interface, or GUI, aka what the user sees on their screen. The second is the application tier. It's responsible for processing transactions, running reports, monitoring database access, communicating with other applications, and more. Third is the database tier. That's where the data is stored. SAP ERP, especially the systems designed for large enterprises like Business Suite and the on-premises version of S4 HANA, offers many benefits, including standardization of business processes, improving consistency, data accessibility, and overall efficiency across departments, a unified view of the business, customizability only using the modules relevant to the business, and reporting and analytics features that help decision-making. But there are disadvantages to SAP ERP as well, including high purchase and implementation costs, complex implementation, and complex customization if you don't have a deep understanding of programming or you need a specific application tailored to your business. SAP S4 HANA, which is based on SAP ECC and Business Suite, is said to address many of these issues, which is in part why SAP is pushing customers to adopt S4 HANA instead. Is SAP leaving traditional ERP in the past? What technologies do you think they'll push instead? Share your thoughts in the comments below and remember to like and subscribe too.